meeting. Uh, today's meeting is being conducted over Zoom in accordance with guidance issued by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in March of 2023, which allows us to conduct our business remotely. All individuals wishing to participate in today's meeting can do so with the link provided on the agenda, which can be found on the town meeting website. There is also a phone number if you cannot connect uh, via a computer. Uh, today is a single focused agenda. It's for the Board of Selectmen to appoint and vote upon a new police chief for the town of Dover. But before I commence with that, I would like to open up the floor for any citizens' comments. If you have a citizens' comment, if you're on your computer, if you could just put the little emoji, raise your hand sign, then we will let you give you the floor. Okay, I do not see anyone wishing to say anything. All right, so um, now we will turn over to the only item of business today, which is 1.1. Um, at our meeting on Monday evening, we were we interviewed or had both finalists for the police chief search um, introduce themselves to the town. We also talked to them a little bit about um, their philosophies and why they wanted the role in Dover. Um, the two finalists went through an extensive search process. Um, it was extremely robust and we talked about it in detail, in detail at that meeting. And at the end of the meeting, I think to summarize where we ended was as a town, we were extremely fortunate to have two highly qualified individuals, both of which could definitely be our next police chief. And the, um, the difficult decision was which one do, do we feel would be the best for Dover at this time? There was no doubt, and I think both, both Mr. Jeffries and myself expressed, expressed this, there was absolutely no doubt that both candidates could make an excellent police chief, whether for Dover or another town. And so at the end of that, that meeting, um, I, I asked for a little bit more time so that I could think a little more about this um, because this is a huge decision for the town. Uh, Mr. Jeffries was lucky enough to be the, the point person for the Board of Selectmen, so he spent a lot of time with both candidates. And at this point, I have thought about it a lot I have also had the opportunity, I actually reached out to some of the committee members individually just to help me as I evaluated who I thought was the best candidate. And so today I'm pleased to say it was a very difficult decision for me, but I have made a choice. And before we turn to a vote, I guess I'll turn it over to Mr. Jeffries to see if he has anything he might want to add. Thank you, Madam Chair. That is very well said. I just had a couple of prepared things, Robin, some of which you already mentioned, and I just feel deserve reiterating. Uh, as Robin said, and these are my words, today is a bittersweet announcement because we can only select one person. Um, for the past six months, I've worked very closely with the six members of our search committee the Board of Selectmen carefully selected these six individuals from a pool of citizens who volunteered. The committee was unpaid. Um, we put in hundreds of hours on this work, reading, making phone calls, reading resumes, reading assessments, um, while attending weekly meetings. So to Paul Capone, Kirsten Bartlett, Sarah Monaco, Dan Berger, Nicole Safarian, and Joe DeSalvo, I just want to say a big thank you from Robin and I and the board and 
and everyone uh, within the town of Dover. And then the process, throughout the process, the professional search firm, which Robin and I hired to help steer us through, public safety consultants, Chief Russ Stevens, he and his team guided us along the way. We made this very public on Monday, as Robin said. I just want to say another thank you to them. Um, and so, Robin, that is it for my prepared part. I, if you would like, I will read the um, read the motion, and or how would you like to handle that part? Um, so that's what I was wondering. So um, I think you should read the motion, and then um, you know I can, or. Or we alternatively, I can tell you where I landed up and you can tell me where you landed up. And hopefully it's in the same place because there are only two of us and then we can move to vote. Go right ahead. OK, so as I said, and John, I think you put it very eloquently. This is very bittersweet. I wish somehow we could have two police chiefs, but we can't. <laughs> Um, and so after a lot of deliberation, um, my choice at the end, and it was a fractional decision, was was Joe Vinci of Westwood. So I am going to read the motion. I move to approve to appoint. So, John, what about you? Are no, you in I, I am in agreement with you, Robin, and. I um I agree that Lieutenant Joe Vinci of Westwood is my candidate to appoint as the town of Dover chief of police subject to a successful negotiation and background check and that we uh, designate I don't know if we're going to designate you or I. <laughs> we, we would typically designate the chair. So I think, Robin, that's you to negotiate the employment contract. But seeing where um, Michael uh, Michael Blanchard and I have gone through this from the beginning, um, I'm I'm not sure if it should be you or I. So I think it should be you. Um, you were the one that spearheaded this and. You know, it also, I, I, I think that makes the most sense. So I would say that you and Mike and legal counsel can work with Joe to negotiate. But but I need to second the motion first, okay. and then we can vote. Right. And then uh, after that, Robin, I just want to, I do have a prepared, um, I just had a quick few words uh, to add okay. before we adjourn. Okay. So, um, so, so then... I will second the motion that you made to appoint the new Dover police chief. All in favor? Aye, Robin Hunter. Aye, John Jeffries. Okay. So before we leave everyone, I just want to speak directly uh, to everyone on behalf of the, of the committee to Lieutenant Michael Benedetti from Norwood. <clears throat> this, as we said earlier, and Robin and I, uh, both said directly to Lieutenant Benedetti on Monday evening, he will be a great police chief. And I believe it. I know that Robin believes it. And we are, it is really unfortunate uh, that we had to only select one. Um, I cannot tell you how impressed the members of the committee were with both finalists, um, we, they went through a rigorous process. They have great character. They have great competence. And I hope there is a town watching this meeting who is looking for a police chief. Um, my recommendation would, would be to that person to immediately hire Lieutenant Michael Benedetti. Um, and I, I really do feel, I want you all to know how, how much time and effort and energy we, we put into this. So, um, Lieutenant Benedetti, thank you for all your hard work. Robin? I would echo your comments that it's just a, was a very, very difficult decision. But at this time, I just thought Lieutenant Vinci was just the right person for, the, for Dover today. 
So, you know, John, I leave all the details to you and this being voted on, I would then like to make a motion to adjourn today's meeting. Seconded. Um, all in favor? Aye, John Jeffries. Aye, Robin Hunter. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Have a great day.